know you so I am Christiana Give. Oh, okay. Who oh, you know about like this? You know how fun the beat like this On the back girls want the wine punk this Make a step forward Hi! 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 I'm so excited Welcome to my channel I am Ijoma of Adora's Ball If you are an OG subscriber, OG viewer Thank you for hitting my video again It's all love if you are a new viewer, new subscriber, you've not seen my face. Hi, I really like you because you are here, and I really like you to hit the subscribe button. Join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Okay, so I know this video is quite lengthy. Please, please, please stay to the end, or at least try to before you make any judgment or assumptions. Also, if the title might be triggering you, do not watch it. I'm so excited because we are at five, 500 subscribers, 500 plus actually, it felt good. I just want to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I really want to say a big thank you. Like 500 people actually said, okay, let them come to my channel and hit that subscribe button. I don't know why I feel like crying now. But it's alright, it's alright. Because I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing my first story time. Yeah. Yeah. Without much of further ado, we'll go into the video. In today's story time, by the title, I'm going to be telling you guys of a time when one of my best girls. We, we didn't call ourselves best friends or none of that but she honestly was one of my closest friends and my man see we weren't dating he wasn't my official boyfriend but we had something going on and the type of girl i am i like to mark my territory i will tell the guy if i'm talking to any other person and i will make it clear honestly for me it's just like i don't have time let's just be honest if you cannot do that then tell me like a side note for anybody watching this video i am still friends with these people this was years ago no but everybody has grown everybody makes mistakes i'm just doing this cause i felt like it's a funny story let me start from the genesis of this story i got into my school and the first guy i liked or had friends for let's call him Ben. So I liked Ben and it was cool. He told me he liked me and then it wasn't just a serious kind of thing. What type of person I am, I'll let you know like let me know what you are doing out there on the streets. Let me know. I ain't playing. I don't want to look like a fool. If you want to give other people fine, I'm not the type of person to Put myself in that situation this nigga was lying to me, me. <laughs> i'm the only one oh this person is his friend oh this person they run together <laughs> i'm just here a lot of people talk about him a lot of people come and tell me what he's doing i was done so we had like a click i'll call it click because that's what it felt like it was a mixture of boys and girls we used to eat together we used to hang out together so there was one guy in that clique i'll call him chris chris cristiano 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 i am cristiano like there was a connection no we just sit together sometimes and play pick on each other all of that cute stuff excuse this noise because it's my neighbor's stupid stupid please reduce your tv christiana and i were just like kind of like feeling each other but on the room i think we used to claim to be best friends at some point but i know we got really really close and then he now started telling me stuff ben had been saying about me 
So Ben would see me and go and tell them, oh, this was how we went, this was what happened. Insult me, say he was, he didn't like me, he was just going to break my heart. And I was like, but I was in an ideal. I wouldn't have believed it if he had only said, oh, he doesn't like you, all of that. Fine. He was telling me details of when we would see. Jeez. <laughs> He just warned me, told me he didn't like me, which was good. Snitch move, but good at the same time. It was all deserved, to be honest. I won't call it a snitch move. Best move ever. But prior to that, he had started telling me he liked me. I mean, was there not to lie? Get out of here, man! Shit! I was like, mm. I see there's a connection, but I can't be with you. I like. Ben, no, I don't do that. Fast forward, when he had told me about Ben, everything, I ended things with Ben, and I was like, okay, okay, I bet she's lonely, <laughs> I bet she's sad. Let's move on. <laughs> and yes, I moved on to him. Things were sweet, then they were not. It was just like chaos all over the place and then another of his close friends had warned me like just be careful of this guy that you're going into things into. i was like no why would your friend say this in my head so i just like i was like oh he's just hitting i told this boy please don't come i want to break my heart you saw what just happened i am vulnerable my tips for my girls don't let these guys know when you're vulnerable because they will use it as their powerpoint and take advantage like okay okay so we get together we're not dating also but we were exclusive we we're meant to be exclusive again stupid ass move naive me will believe in that that is a setup so I don't think I really had a problem with him talking to girls like the past guy or all of that. I feel he was smarter with how he went about it. You see, Christina's story will come back to that. Let's go to the girl's side. So, the girl we're going to call Christa, Christiana. Christiano? Christiana. Um, the first year, she had already started having a lot of fuck ups. The girls, the guys, people were just like, be careful of this girl. Be careful. I'm not one to judge you based off what people say because people will talk the truth, people will say lies, people will hate. I like to give people benefit of doubt. But there wasn't any reason for me and her to become close. So we were for a while. Then, she started, she, she had been friends with my roommates from before school and everything. So she started coming to hang out with her. I don't know how exactly, I just know somehow she started hanging out with Because my roommates were my friends, like outside that room, do you get? So I would hang out with them and everything. So she started hanging out with us. I honestly cannot remember how this happened, but I know we got close, I and her, and like, this babe, if I'm sounding somehow, if I sound angry, if I sound bitter, there's nothing, because me and this babe are actually cool. I'm just saying it based on how I felt then. Who babe would sleep on my bed? If you are in my school, or if you know what a private university, you know them posh ones, private university that they like to be posh, if you know how their beds are, it's like, Yay, yay, length. That is it. Or oh, we, we would share the bed out every night. Come sleep on my bed. When I go to block, block in my school is when like you go in the night and hang out with your guy or girl or whoever and just hang out. So when I'll come back from blocking, I'll come and gist on my roommates and I'll be gisting her. Even like if my other roommates are tired of hearing, I'll be gisting her. She's like, oh, I don't like this guy. He's very somehow, like when we quarrel, obviously. 
I would tell her good and bad, but when I'm crying, she'll be like, mm, he's proud, he's this, I told you he's this, I don't like him. I'm like, mm -hmm. fast forward, everything was cool, we're about to go on holiday. So, she was talking to one of my, the roommates that she knew before, she was talking to his, her boyfriend at that point, and all. I'm going to be mad for my friend at you. Don't play with my friends. Don't, don't. So I guess there was, it was there was actually a problem, but not that deep of a problem. We go on holiday. I'm talking to this boy. Then the issues arrive again. Do you know what happened this time? We both said. We would go on a break let us see what happens let's see how we can adjust let's see if we can settle these issues then we would get back to each other we both made it obvious that we still liked each other he was still coming to me it was all right i and christiana didn't talk during the holiday none of that we came to school everything gets juicy one of my close babes had come to tell me that okay she wants to tell me something christiana and christian will give Funke! Funke! you don't know what it means to give i'm sorry but they give i'm like huh hmm. i thought she, christiana didn't like christian I thought Cristiano didn't like Cristiano because also I don't know if I mentioned this Cristiano used to tell me oh he doesn't like my friendship with Cristiana she's bad in friends blah 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 and I was just like stop stop I don't want to hear about it but now you people are doing stuff um, hmm? my friend gave me the details of how he um, met her during the holiday texted her saying he liked her you said Blah 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 blah. We weren't serious, we were done. <laughs> and he never liked me like that. <laughs> A lot of things. So I'm like, this bitch that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth, woman! Watch your mouth, woman! Take him out. Take him out. So, I feel so much anger. This babe that I am being so loving to really did this to me and this stupid ass nigga really did this to me okay so I couldn't freak or say anything cause I couldn't expose my friend I had to heal within <laughs> and that's very difficult to be honest for me it's very difficult to heal like and not confront the people involved it was hard trust me after that i was just like i was sad i had my moments of crying indoors and all of that but i am a glow up kind of girl you break my heart all i'm thinking of is where's my glow up at where <laughs> where then i did it. that glow up was not much of a glow up but <laughs> For hundred level it was. I got thicker. I got hotter. I didn't even care about people. I think it was more of my attitude. I just it was like a bit. I was a bit more heartless. You get that feeling. One day, me and my friend decided to go swimming in my school swimming pool. You, this is my favorite part of this. Just, I'm there having my fun, jamming, you know, driving. And then I see boys walking. <laughs> Cristiano is there and he's like, oh, he gives me this eye. Me? I can't see you. I just like roll my face, turn around, give my friend the eye, like, oh, that cheat is here. He wasn't cheating the table. We call him that. So Cristiano comes to me you know when somebody wants to hurt you why man why yes he came to me i can remember this thing so clearly and he bent down and i was in the pool and he was like oh hi mm, what's up you look good i'm like okay thank you what's up he's like i want to tell you something i already knew so <laughs> in my head i'm like 
Is this nigga trying to be smart? Okay, so this guy decided to tell me when I was having a really good time. See what you were trying to do. I really need to see it and I must commend you. I was like, oh, sure. Tell me. <laughs> and then he goes, I am Christiana Give. This is me in the pool. Oh, okay. Nigga was shocked. I'm sure his heart must have searched around the place. He was shook. Did you hear me? I was like, yeah, I heard you, I think. Didn't you say you gave Christiana? It's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. He's <laughs> like, you don't feel anywhere about it. I'm like, brah. What do you expect me to do? I took him and embrace you. Like, really? You did it? Okay, I've warned you literally now. You want to try and hurt me by telling me now, like months after or weeks after. Perfectly near you again, near you, <laughs> bruh. He's like, Oh, he's really sorry, he didn't know what came over him. I've come to apologize to you for everything that I did to you. I did not intend to make you go through all that, hey, but you did, but you did at that point in the pool. I didn't want to hear about it. I don't think anything really happened after then. I feel like I bullied Christiana in some sort of way. Not like physically bullying or like speaking to her and bullying her. But like I would just make her uncomfortable. I just was everywhere. People were calling her names. And I feel like that is so unfair. She did what she did. She was my friend, yes. But this is the thing we always do. We always blame the girls. We always bring down the girls. But what happened to Cristiano? He was the one who went snooping around telling my like son. He was the one who did everything. And I was beefing this girl, but I was still entertaining Cristiano. By entertaining, I mean like after that he was, he kept on trying to say, okay, let's see, let's see, please let him explain. At first, I was like, I didn't want to see you. Then I said, okay. And then I started seeing him. We would talk, we were cool. But I feel like I was trying to fill a void which was not Never do that. A guy cheats on you. Don't go at the girl. Don't go at the girl. Because it is that guy's fault. You are in the thing with that guy. I was in that thing with Cristiano. So whatever he did, he's the mess up. When I gave him the chance to explain, this nigga told me, oh, the only reason he did it because he was trying to test her or he was a dear. I'm like, are you dumb? But yeah, after that nothing happened, I just got cool both of them eventually. But it really affected my relationship with Christiana. But oh well, it is what it is. I hope they have learned their lesson. I hope. I know I have, and I hope you guys learn a lesson from this. We've come to the end of this story time. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. And please, 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 please subscribe to my channel down there right now. Turn on the bell beside so that you know whenever I post up a video. Please share to your friends. Also, so check out my other videos.